Most organizations don't do this for a living. They're not technology experts for the most part, but government institutions are more likely to be a bit further behind in their maturity. And they're more likely to be using some older outdated legacy systems, maybe some homegrown systems. And they're more likely to be making a big jump from that old system to more of a cloud-based solution here today. But the skill sets are grounded largely in that old outdated technology, but they need much different skill sets to move into the future. So this affects the implementation. It makes the implementation more difficult because you don't have knowledgeable people on the project internally that understand the journey or understand the new technologies and the new processes you're gonna be implementing. And at the same time, that lack of skill leads to a lack of confidence in being able to manage your vendors. So there's a learned helplessness that comes along with this where government agencies are more likely to defer to their software vendors, defer to their system integrators and the outside consultants because they don't know enough to know how to manage the project. And the minute you cede control and let someone else make decisions for you, that's where a lot of organizations get into pretty big trouble.